Good afternoon, Facebook Live. This is Robin Kirby Gatto. I'm coming on here briefly to encourage you and to tell you, saints, God is doing something amazing. As Holy Spirit kept telling me that God is going to be doing things before and by the Feast of Trumpets, which is mid-September. And I'm telling you, saints, he's doing things. So I want to come on here today to give the prophetic word that I wrote this morning. I want to share the dream that I had this morning. And I shared with Rich when I woke up. And saints, all I can say is since today, well, even before today, and I'm going to bring all of that in. I did do a Facebook post on it. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Margaret. Hey, Angela. Hey, Dina. Hey, Stacy. God bless you. Thank you for joining in. And so I've actually had my hair up in a barrette, and I just took it down. I wasn't planning on getting on Facebook this afternoon, but I'm back on Facebook. And I just want to share with you what has been going on. So over the last couple of weeks, it is like we are getting double blessings, that we keep getting two packages of the same thing and only have to pay for one package, and we get a replacement package sent to us, I mean, it's just crazy, is all I can say. And so, this morning God said, Robin, Zechariah 9, 12, that God says, Return to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope, for I will restore to you double your former prosperity. Return to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope, for I will restore to you double your former prosperity. And you know, one of my favorite sayings, and it's so funny because it's been in my memories all this week as I keep sharing it. And I think I even shared it today, but I shared it yesterday and the day before, I think, as well, where God just has me put, you know, hope against hope. Romans 5, 5, hope against hope, you know, and God's grace is more than sufficient. Amen. Well, I've just got to share this and I'm going to share the prophetic word and it dawned on me the dream that I had in relation to the interpretation of it this morning. So I'm going to give you the dream. And it wasn't until I just got off the phone with another sister in the Lord. And in our conversation, God brought the interpretation of the dream. I, as soon as I woke up, Rich and I wake up out of bed. Today, it was 3.15 a.m. because we went to the gym. So, on the gym days during the week, we wake up at 3.15 a.m. And so, when I woke up and I get on my side of the bed, he gets off on his side of the bed, we start making up the bed. And while we were making up the bed at 3.15 in the morning, I said, Rich, I just had this dream. And this is the dream. I want to share the dream. But it did not occur to me until just about 30 minutes ago, the interpretation. And I want to bring it to you. And also, this happened before this massive blessing came. And it's the biggest blessing that I've ever had in my life. Of course, Jesus Christ, salvation is first. Having my children, my sons, my husband, my parents, my family. But I'm talking about the biggest breakthrough. Now, I've had healings, massive healings that have just been Ephesians 3.20. But I am just seeing massive breakthrough like I have never, ever experienced in my entire life. And I don't, and I kind of knew it was going to happen because God kept telling me it was going to happen. But you know, you're always in those moments of, yes, God's going to do this. It's going to happen. And I'm talking about it's really, 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 really big. And only God could have done it, not Robin. And I've learned that God is merciful. He is awesome. He is a God of breakthrough. He is a God of promise. His promises are yes and amen. And so the big massive breakthrough happened once we got back home, did our protein shake, and then I got ready to do a post and I found out this massive information of what God told me he was going to do and he, I'm telling you, y'all, this is like massively big, okay? And maybe one day I'll share it. I'll just, you know, Rich doesn't want me to share right now. And so I'm honoring my husband's, uh, you know, desire. But it was massive. Like I was shaking and I was crying. And 
I, I could not believe what I was seeing on the internet, on the information that God told me to check on about me that was personal. And I was just shaking and crying. And I'm like, Rich, you are not going to believe this. And all I could do was hug him. And he was hugging me because I was just weeping. Because I had been believing for this for years, years. And it happened. And it was massive. And it was just more confirmation that God told me that getting close to Feast of Trumpets, I'm telling you, saints, grab a hold of it. Let this testimony, let this video stir your faith, okay? And grab a hold of it. And so I'm going to share the dream with you, but also I'm going to bring in other components because in the last several months, all year, I've been teaching a lot on the kingdom of heaven, and it's because I'm writing about it in my book. I wrote about it extensively in great measure in chapter 3, <clears throat> which I had been writing on all year and finished about a week or two ago and started chapter four. And chapter four is in God's, uh, in the forbidden fruit, the spiritual disease. Chapter four is the fourth dimension, the kingdom of heaven. And so God has had me study the morphogenetic field, you know, in the kingdom of heaven. And I taught on the fourth dimension in 2014 and in, 26, in 2015, December 2014. January 2015, December in this God's Firewall School of the Prophets. In January 2015, God's Firewall Healing of the Soul. I taught on the fourth dimension back then. And so God has me bringing it into this book. And I've also shared those notes on my WordPress blog, Robin Kirby Gatto, on in the internet years ago. And so I'm pulling from that. I'm bringing all this in for a purpose because it's going to kind of come together in a moment and you're going to hear what the Lord is really saying. And take this into your heart. Let this seed be planted and let it grow. Amen. And so Zechariah 9, 12, return to the stronghold of security and prosperity. You prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will restore to you double your former prosperity to you. That is Zechariah 9, 12. And that is prophesying in the end days that God is going to do this. And we see this first and foremost with Jesus Christ. And we see this outpouring of God's blessing and prosperity of Deuteronomy 28, which I made mention of this morning on my morning video when I mentioned about Dakota's picture that he had tagged me in of a personalized car tag that was in my memories today. And it was Deuteronomy 28. And so... Uh, I'm bringing in the fact that I've been teaching on the kingdom of heaven on videos, on Facebook posts, also about Zechariah 9, 12. And now I'm going to get to the dream. I'm going to get to the word that God gave me this morning. I'm going to get into the interpretation that God just gave me now about 40 minutes ago, because it's been some time since I've been on the video, to give you the interpretation of the dream. And I didn't think anything about it. I just kind of wrote it off after I told Rich this morning. And so in the dream, I am pregnant full term. I'm talking about out here, belly, way, I mean, big bump, big. I mean, it was so big, it looked like it could be triplets, double. It was the double. It was the double portion. That's what it was. Woo, thank you, Jesus. And so I, it was so, I was so big. And Rich and I were in this house. It was our house. And it was all white. White floors. White staircase. No walls. No walls. No stair rails. And it was just very fine. Very elegant. And there was a staircase going up. And it was white. No stair rails. And I was just busy going up the staircase and when I was going up and down the staircase, going up, coming down, going up, coming down, then on the lower level, when I came down, there was a baby shower. So the lower level represents earth. The upper level represents heaven. The staircase, as we look at the highway of holiness, Isaiah 35, 8, and God showed me that. As it is in heaven, the Lord's Prayer, Luke 11, verses 1 through 4, 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so that was the lower level earth. And God was having me go up as we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. And again, when you see chapter three of the new book that I finished a couple of weeks ago, like Rich said while reading it, he continually says it. He says, I have, I cannot unsee it. And I've been saying that for months. I cannot unsee it. Exactly those words. And I did not tell my husband that. And while he's editing it, chapter three, where you see the kingdom of heaven, he said, Robin, I cannot unsee this now. I see it. And I'm telling you, saints, the kingdom of heaven is near. And we are about to experience such a massive outpouring as never before. And so the baby shower, it occurred to me later as God began to tell me after I'd already written the morning post shortly after I came home in the baby shower, there were gifts that were on the first floor, big gifts, all different sizes. And God was telling me to look for the money, to look for the money. And you know, I was just, it was like I was just being led all throughout this house, up and down, and to the baby shower. And even in the midst of the baby shower, I would still go back up and then come back down, back to the baby shower. And God was just telling me as I would go up to look for the money, look for the money. And all of a sudden, we go to the gym, we work out, come back. And God told me to post, I hear the Lord saying. So I want to read this first before I give you the dream interpretation. I hear the Lord saying, it is a new day, a day of great favor as my people enter the place of plenty, showing them I am the God of promise. I am the God who performs my word. I have moved on your behalf and will show you I am as I did Israel who came out of Egypt. And I will turn your tears into laughter as your mourning and sorrow turns into dancing where you will open your mouth wide open and declare my year of Jubilee. I am the God who favors thee. I am the God of sufficiency. You will see your sons and daughters coming from afar as I do a new thing, reviving their soul, showing myself in their dreams giving them visions as I pour out my Holy Spirit upon them, filling their mouth with the gift of prophecy where they will prophesy to the dry bones, the abundant life of Christ. I am the God of new beginnings. And I tell you, I have wiped the slate clean and I am giving you my people, the new beginning of prosperity and abundance where you will no longer be in the lean season, but in the season of Ephesians 3.20. I am the God who does exceedingly abundantly above all you can think or imagine, according to the power and operation inside of you. Trust me, I go before you, and my glory is your rear guard. This is the time of the abundance of rain for my people, there will be revival in the land. Woo! Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And this is what absolutely blessed me. So I'm on the phone sharing my dream now 50 minutes ago with my friend. And all of a sudden, it occurred to me, the baby shower. It's a shower. It is the abundance of rain. And what is amazing is I wrote that prophetic word at about 6.30ish, 6.20ish, 8 a.m. this morning. And at about 11 p.m., probably for three hours, it has been raining here at our house, at our apartment. It has been raining. And then the Lord just said to me, Robin, the baby shower is the abundance of rain. And then he just was like, Robin, the massive blessing you got this morning, <laughs> that was in the dream. I said, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
James 1, 17, every good and perfect gift comes from the Father of lights. And that's also in chapter 2 of the forbidden fruit, the spiritual disease, chapter 2, Isaiah 53, 11. Saints, I am telling you, send this video. I'm going to put it up on YouTube as well, on my YouTube channel. Send this video to all of your friends. I am telling you, we are at the cusp of of the Feast of Trumpets, which is beginning September the 15th in the evening, going into September the 16th, which I love because it's my birthday. And we are going to see on the civilian calendar at the same time, Rosh Hashanah, the new year, I am telling you saints, it is going to be massive. And the Lord just wants you to grab a hold of this and to encourage you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. And I will see you later. Be blessed. Have an amazing weekend.